free your mind, free Iraq from us, and free Palestine. Blessed are the peacemakers, an eye for an eye, we have a whole world blind. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, we have a whole world blind and toothless. Ruthless, shocking all bombing campaigns cannot deliver peace, only pieces. It's facetious to believe freedom could come in a ball from above. Would you liberate someone you love? But I forgot about 9-11. And Saddam is a terrorist, absolutely true. A terrorist appointed by you know who? Y'all know who? George Herbert W. Oh yeah, and no. I never forgot about 911. I've seen Ground Zero and I've seen its soul. Now I see corruption of a tragedy for political control. Oh yeah, and by the way, the thousands of dead, wounded, and poisoned Iraqi youth didn't have a thing to do with the Towers Times 2. Or you know who? The bastard Bin Laden, a downtrodden elite who had a falling out with the Bush family, but would not admit defeat. Islam did not attack us. Focus, Christianity did not attack them. And Judaism has never attacked a Palestinian. People of all religions bastardized their religion. And on television, the foxification of our brains permanently stains the parents of T.D. Bob and victims of clear generalization. <laughs> the stranglehold of imagination. Don't get me started on gated communities hiding behind their fortifications. Kucinich is the way. Or Carrie, your dean, or a trained monkey could lead this country better than the Bush Cheney regime. The end of democracy. War is not the answer. Nor is it the way. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, and certainly not today. Don't be afraid. Proudly blacklist me, a revolutionary McCarthy or Ashcroft, whatever your name may be, you don't frighten me. Transcend reality. More importantly, transcend borders. Smash the established order. Overcome the boundaries of race and class. Free your mind and your ass will follow. Don't wallow in defeat. Defeat your inhibitions and wallow in victory. <laughs> History. His story. Rich, white, his story. Lies. Burn history and rewrite our story. Our story of justice, compassion, humanity, and love. And in 2004, by any means necessary, Bush's worthless ass is getting out of the White House and we shall overcome!